Hey, Jesus, Jesus, you're doing a small tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install updates or DLCs into your ROM for Citra emulator. Currently, whenever you dump a game, the update is not dumped with it. This is because the update has extra data that was not included in the game itself. For example, whenever you dump Pokemon Sim, the update is not dumped. So I can't do things such as watching battle replays. The only, th the only way to fix this is to update the game. So how do I do that? Well, watch the video and you'll learn how. Before I begin, I must say that this method only works if you have the cartridge version of the game, also known as a .3DS. From my experience, digital versions of the game don't work. The only thing that is digital and works is the update as a CXI. If you have that, then you're good to go. If not, just ask your friends if you could have borrowed their cartridge. Anyways, the list of things you will need is very small. First thing you will need is the game itself as a .3DS file format. You will also need the update as a .cxi, and you will also need the hacking toolkit.3ds. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to install hacking toolkit 3ds. In the beginning of this video, I described a link. That link will lead you to this page. Now, if you scroll down, you will see this link where my mouse is hovering. You're going to click that link and you're going to be redirected to a GitHub where you will download the app. You're going to be downloading the first one. Once it's downloaded, you're going to open it up with whatever software you use. I'm going to use an archiver because that's what almost everybody uses. So once you open the .zip file with the unarchiver or whatever program you're going to use, you're going to extract the pack, the pack hack folder. You're gonna drag and drop that on, onto your desktop. Okay, so once you open up the pack hack folder, you're going to find three things inside of it. First off, we're going to open up the setup.us and we are going to install it. But once this is done installing, we are going to delete this app. We're going to delete it because we don't want it to interfere with any other work and, and we're not gonna need it in the future. So once we're done with that, we're gonna go to desktop and we're gonna make two folders. One folder is gonna be called games and the second folder is gonna be called update. Once we have those two folders, we are going to drop the content, the, well, the remaining content from the packet folder into both the folders. Now, the reason we're doing two different folders with the same apps is because Hacking Toolkit 3DS makes all of its data on its folder. We don't want any data to conflict with one another. And once we're done with that, we are going to drag and drop each game, every file to its respectable file. So, for example, I'm going to drag and drop the sun.3ds or the game itself the game the game rom into the game folder i'm going to drag and drop the cxi into the update folder which is the update information once you have those two we are going to start extracting all right so once we're done there we're going to open up the hacking toolkit.3ds app and we're going to type in cxi now it's going to ask us for the name of the cxi which is the update so i'm just going to copy the name and i'm going to paste it inside the software once I'm done pasting it, it's going to ask me if I want to code up in. I'm going to say no. And once that's done processing, we're going to press any key and we're going to exit out of it. So once we're done with that, we're going to do the same thing that we did to the update folder to the game folder. So what we're going to do is open up the game folder and open up the hacking tool kit.3ds. But, but since this is a .3ds, instead of typing CXI, we're going to type in the letter D. So once we type in the letter D, so once it's over, we're going to type in the name of the .3ds file. For me, it's called Sun, so I'm going to type in Sun. But if for you it's called something else, then type that in instead. It's going to ask us again if we want the code to code in. We're going to say no. And once it's done extracting, we're going to get a lot of files. And once it's done extracting, we're going to press any button and it's going to close out of the window. So once we're done with that, we're going to open up the update folder and we're going to delete the update itself and the clean tool. The reason we're deleting it is because we don't want them to conflict whenever we're moving the files into the game so once we're done with that we're going to move the files and if it asks you to replace say yes we're going to move all the update folders files everything into the game itself so once that's done we're going to close out of this and we're going to go into the game where we recently put in the updated stuff so once that's that's done we're going to open up the hacking toolkit.3ds and instead of typing in the letter d we're going to type in the letter r we are going to rebuild the .3ds file with the new update. So once we type that in, it's going to ask us what we're going to name it. 
Now name it whatever you want. Me, I'm gonna name it something that I can remember it by. But since you already have it, I'm gonna just name it whatever. But for you, but keep this in mind. When, when you name it, do not use spaces. Spaces will mess you up. So if you use spaces, it, it's an instant mess up. Just don't use it. So now in the folder, there should be a file called edited.3ds. Well, whatever you called it, .3ds. And that is the file that you're going to use in Citra. Now in Citra, you're going to see something different. For there would only be the Pokemon Center Moon logo without the version 1.1. So this means that the update was successful. When you see this little thing that says version 1.1, that means that you have successfully updated the game. And if something went wrong, feel free to ask me any questions in the comment below. And I will reply to you whenever I can. Besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of me showing you how to do this. It took me a while to do it by myself. It took me like five days to do it, but I really hope it I really hope it helped you out. And if it did, please make sure to hit that like button and the subscribe. And if you want to have more content, more updates, more videos, or if you just enjoyed this video overall, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next video. Bye bye.